The following video will demonstrate and talk through proper installation of the new AquaFit sensor faucet in a typical commercial application. Before we begin, we will review all of the components that will ship in a standard sensor faucet system. Faucet components include sensor faucet spout, single post or 4 inch base design, electronic module, this contains the brain that allows the faucet to operate, small black o-ring, this o-ring is critical for the electronic box, spout shank hardware, black plastic spacer, aluminum tooth washer, and brass nut. The composite L filter on the left will ship with all standard faucet models. The composite mixing valve adapter on the right will ship with any faucet that is ordered with a mixing valve option or accessory. Black spout base gasket. Aerator device and wrench key. This controls the volume of water flowing through the spout outlet. Four AA alkaline batteries and Allen wrench. Four or eight inch cover plates are used for single post spout models only. The integral four inch spout base model does not require cover plates. Two mounting studs, two brass washers, and two three eighths inch nuts. This hardware is used to fasten the cover or base plates to the spout and to the faucet sink or deck. This hardware is also used to mount the four inch integral base spout model. Now that we have reviewed the standard components and hardware, we can begin walking through a typical commercial installation. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. Zern faucet wrench that adapts to the spout shank nut and or the cover plate mounting stud nuts. Other wrenches that fit one inch size nuts will also work. Needle nose pliers. Socket wrench with hex adapters. Phillips head screwdriver for cover plate application only. Step one, in existing or retrofit applications, it is very important to first shut off water inlet supply stops that are located beneath the sink and control the hot and or cold water distribution. Test to make sure the water is completely cut off to the existing faucet by activating or operating. If no water flows from this spout, you are safe to proceed. Step two. Next, you'll want to prep your AquaFit faucet for installation by installing the aerator. Install the aerator onto the spout using the wrench key. Step three. Next, you will want to uninstall the current faucet from the sink. Place a bin under the piping to catch any dripping water. Step 4. Once the existing faucet is removed, ensure the sink is clean and free of debris where the old faucet base once rested. Step 5. You will need the AquaFit faucet spout and black base gasket that will fit between the spout base and the sink deck. Place the spout shank through the center hole of the sink gently so it rests at an angle. In cover plate applications, you will want to assemble the 4 or 8 inch cover plate to the spout prior to step 4. The Phillips head screwdriver will allow you to attach the cover plate to the spout base. Step 6. Next, you will need to install the spout mounting hardware to the spout shank in this order. Black plastic spacer, aluminum tooth washer, and the brass nut. While lying under the sink, Ensure the black cable from the spout rests in the gap designed in the black plastic spacer. You should be able to swivel the nut up the shank with your hand most of the way. Once the spout hardware is hand tight, check the spout above to make sure the gasket and spout are lined up. You'll then want to use either the Zern faucet wrench or the socket with hex adapter to ensure the spout shank nut has a snug quarter turn fit, being careful not to over tighten. In cover plate, or 4 inch spout base applications, you will want to use the two studs, two washers, and two mounting nuts to install the spout mounting hardware to the spout shank. You may find it easiest to start with swiveling the washer and nut onto the studs, and then while lying under the faucet, fasten the studs to the underside of the spout base or cover plates. In a similar fashion to the center spout shank installation, you will want to use the socket wrench with hex adapter to tighten so it is a similar snug fit. Step 7. Using the Allen wrench that is provided, remove the battery tray on the black electronic box module. Place the four AA batteries in the tray as the label indicates for positive and negative. You will note the battery tray has a D-shaped design that will fit snugly back into the electronic box. Using the Allen wrench, tighten the tray back into the electronic box. 
Step 8. Assemble the black electronic box directly to the spout shank that hangs below the sink deck. It is very important that the small black o-ring is placed in the black box hex nut adapter before assembling the electronics to the shank. This will be critical in preventing leaks. Using the Zern faucet wrench or other crescent wrench will allow you to tighten the black box into the shank assembly to ensure a snug fit. Step 9. If you have a new or existing mixing valve or T, attach it to the bottom portion of the electronic box. If you don't have a new or existing mixing valve or T, you will use the composite L filter that was included with the Zern faucet to adapt to the black box. This L filter will help prevent debris and water sediments from potentially passing through the electronic box and clogging the solenoid, which could lead to performance issues. Step 10. In this installation, the low lead compliant thermostatic mixing valve is used. Once the mixing valve is assembled, you can then connect the water supply lines to the mixing valve. Finally, match the arrows on the thin black cable from the faucet spout to the thin black cable from the electronic box and connect the cables. At this time, you should hear a click from the solenoid, letting you know the connection was performed correctly. When all of the components are assembled, ease the stop valves back on for the cold and or hot water supply. Allow 15 to 30 seconds and then activate the faucet by waving your hand under the sensor. Thank you for watching. For more information, please subscribe to our One Zern YouTube channel. Call our customer care center at 1-855-1-ZERN and visit us at zern.com.